We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings open up their 2013 football season against conference foe Green Bay Notre Dame. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me later on will be Chris Wright. Let's talk a little bit about Notre Dame. Last year they ended up with a uh, subpar 3-5 and five season, not what they're used to. And you got to know Coach John Nowak is going to get them uh, fired up and ready to go this season. Uh, they were led last year by uh, Charlie, Charlie Rotherham, their quarterback. He finished with uh, 549 yards. He hit on 50% of his passes. Uh, he only had five touchdowns with four interceptions, but uh, if he comes back this year, he'll be a tough uh, guy to have to uh, contend with. Notre Dame over the last couple seasons has beat South both times convincingly, so South is going to have their work cut out tonight. Uh, for South, they enter the season uh, under Chris Hine in his ninth year as the head football coach. They finished three and six last year. Uh, like I said, they lost to Notre Dame the last two years. Last year, they lost to him 41 to 27. Offense was not generally the problem for South last year. It was their defense, and they're going to have to pick that up. Uh, but coming back for South is uh, Robert Huffman, who will start at quarterback tonight. They also have their number one uh, running back, Boris Ristovojevic, and uh, Tristan Smith will also be on, in the backfield running the ball. Also returning on the defensive side, really important guy, Andrew Wildman. He was an all-conference linebacker. Uh, on offense, like I mentioned, South was very solid. They returned seven starters. Uh, they're deep in the line. They have some good linemen, but they need some stability, and hopefully uh, Robert Huffman can provide that from his quarterback spot. Defensively, it was a funny kind of story last year. They would shut some people down on defense, and then other games they just uh, couldn't stop anyone. So they need to get consistent this year. Uh, like I mentioned, they have uh, Wildman back along with five other starters on defense. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, they are experienced the at linebacker with Wildman. Uh, they are a little tonight. inexperienced, however, Stop in the defensive line. With that, we're going to step out, take a short Gatorade break. When we come back, cheese. I'll have the starting lineups and, and the opening kickoff for tonight's ball game. If I ride, I will know the way the trees move after the rain. I will grow a heart so strong that hospitals will take two steps off. If I ride, road rage will turn into laughter, and oil tankers will haul chocolate milk, and I won't be a boy or a girl. I will just be a rider. Are you connected? If you don't have access to internet, you aren't going to be able to take advantage of anything. The internet is essential to the basics in life, housing, health care, and employment. I personally benefited from broadband because I was able to fill out different applications. And I'm 
positive that I'll get another job. To get connected, call 866-765-9118 or visit changeyourtomorrow.org. If everyone had access to the internet, people's lives would be changed. Connect today. Change your tomorrow. The curfew you have imposed on me is an egregious infringement upon my social well-being and freedom. Speaking of freedom. It is preposterous to suggest that I have my homework done before playing video games. I know my rights, and you can't tell me what to do. Mom, Dad, you have 30 seconds for a response. Does every conversation with your teen turn into a debate? Call the Boys Town National Hotline at 800-448-3000 or visit parenting.org. Train counselors are on call 24-7 to help with parenting problems. Great rendition of that uh, national anthem by uh, Mitchell Tempest and Emily Hand. Let's uh, go through the uh, starting lineup for South. On offense, Robert Huffman will be at quarterback. Uh, Sam Selk, number 10, will be a wide receiver. Number 28, Boris Ristovoyevic will be at a running back. Uh, number 44, Andrew Wildman, will be the fullback. The line uh, at center is Cody McLaughlin, number 52. Number 62, Devante Jerks, is the left guard. The uh, left tackle is Silas Brunn, number 74. The right guard is number 72, John Sullivan. And the right tackle is number 71, Jake Miller. The other wide receiver is number 81, Mitchell Martinez. And the tight end, number 99, Cody Zimmerman. South, there you see him coming on the field, is coached by Chris Hine. Notre Dame is coached by John Nowak. Both teams opening the season uh, tonight. Also on the north side, we have North hosting Pulaski in a conference game. Uh, each team this year is scheduled to play eight games. Uh, last year, South was able to pick up an extra game at the end of the year. There was a break between uh, the last game and the playoffs, and the non-playoff teams had the... Uh, option of playing an extra game, which South did. That was the reason for nine games. Notre Dame uh, elected not to do that. They finished three and five. I mentioned earlier, South finished last season three and six. Conference-wise, they tied. Had a little delay at uh, the national anthem time. They didn't have uh, batteries for the handheld mic. On the flip side, WS WSCS TV had their batteries all squared away for that uh, solo opening by me. Back deep to receive for uh, Notre Dame is Isaac Searing, number 25, and number 84 is, uh, 83 I think that is, is Jacob Hilliard. That's number 27, Jameson Verdigan. Kicking off for uh, South is uh, Kyle Cady. And we're just about ready to get the 2013 high school football season underway.
kick is away. It carries down to about the seven yard line. Searing has it and he's up over the 35, up near the 35, down at about the 32 yard line. Be first and 10, Notre Dame at the 38. Charlie Rotherham is uh, the quarterback. He was 25 for 50 last year. Hand off to the right side. Good fill in there. And a nice tackle made by number 54, David Yang. No gain on the play, make it second down and 10. High formation in the backfield, South looking to blitz. They step up and uh, Searing on the carry gets a little bit, not much. Give him a gain of about three, make it third down and seven. signal it in play it's third down and about seven Rotherham under center South coming with the blitz it was picked up the uh, receiver is not going to get the first down it'll be fourth and about three making the catch was number 44 Mitch Van den Mierendonk Going to be fourth down. Tristan Schmidt, one of the receivers back. Kick is away by Kowarczyk. Uh, and then uh, Fair caught at about the 14-yard uh, line. Making the catch was Tristan Schmidt. First and 10 south. Call it the 14 yard line. So good defensive stand to start the ball game. Let's see if uh, South can continue that. Robert Huffman, number one in is the quarterback. Ristovoyevich, number 28, is the uh, deep back. And uh, Andrew Wildman, number 44, will be the up back. Martinez split out wide to the left. Notre Dame jumps off side. Be a penalty on Notre Dame, five yards. It'll be first and five. Huffman barking the signals. Ristovoyevich up the middle. Powers for maybe a yard. Not much there. Be second down and four. Ball spotted on the 21. Actually, they're going to give him a two-yard gain. One 
One right receiver out to the left. Wildman the up back. And uh, Risto Vojevic gets nailed in the backfield. Good play out there by big number 73, David Guzman. It's gonna be third down, five again. There's a fumble. Notre Dame takes over. Oh my. First and 10, ball spotted on the 20. South blitzing. Searing able to get positive yardage, gets it down to about the 22. Give Searing two yards on the play. Searing the deep back, the uh, up back is uh, Ben Kissel. And uh, flag before the snap of the ball. Let's see what do we have here. Ball start on Notre Dame will be a five yard penalty. That's their second penalty tonight. They haven't been very good in that regard. They get second down and 13. Kissel and Searing in the backfield. Rotherham at quarterback, two wide receivers off to the right. Fake handoff, Rotherman going deep, and the catch is made, and a touchdown, Notre Dame. The safety a little late getting over to uh, defend the bass. Now the referees are talking about it in the end zone. Let's wait a second, see what they've got. They're sitting on it, it's gonna be a touchdown. <laughs> 23 yard touchdown path by uh, Rotherham. In to kick the extra point is Pellini. His uh, kick is good. And with uh, eight minutes left in the first quarter, Notre Dame seven, South nothing. My diabetes tests me every day. It tests my parents, my friends, my gymnastics practice. But JDRF has my back. They're working hard to find a cure for type one diabetes which for me would mean freedom. And they help me now with better treatments and new devices that make my life easier. The folks at JDRF test themselves every day. So someday, I won't have to. JDRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes. A touchdown was caught by uh, number 21, Joel Krawcheck. So the fumble by South leads to a touchdown for Notre Dame as they got it on the short field at about the 20 yard line. Rista Vojevic is uh, back deep along with uh, Tristan Schmidt. Vincent Pellini, who uh, kicked the extra point, is going to uh, kick off.
Notre Dame on top, seven to nothing. Kick is away. Ristovoyevich takes it at the five. He's up to the 15, 20, 25, 30, and knocked down at the 35 yard line. Nice return. First and 10 for the Red Wings. Ball on the 35. That was a 30 yard return by uh, Boris. Mitchell Martinez wide left. Ducking under center is Robert Huffman. Snap inside to uh, Wildman. He picks up maybe a half a yard, not much. Notre Dame stuffing the inside. They're giving them one yard on the play, so we will too, but it's still second and nine. Cody McLaughlin playing center. Wildman offset in the backfield. And off to Boris up the middle. Ristovoyevich gets it up to about the 38 or 39 yard line, not much. It's going to be third down. Gain a two on the play. Huffman from the uh, shotgun this play. First time we've seen that. And a whistle before the play. I think we're going to have uh, illegal procedure on south. Illegal procedure. It's going to be third down and 12 now. Huffman back, looking deep for uh, Martinez, crossing over the middle, but uh, good defense played out there. Number 21 broke up the pass. That was Joe Krawcheck. Fourth down. Punt is away and out of bounds. Inside the 40 at the 38 yard line. Be first and 10 for Notre Dame. 29 yard punt. Rotherham still at the controls for uh, Notre Dame. Searing, cutting off tackle, picks up a few yards. Get him out to about the 42. Josh Becker on the tackle. Second down and seven. Pick up a three that time by Searing. They've been able to contain him pretty good. It was the pass that did in south on that uh, short field. Rotherham under center. 
Fake to Searing, Rotherham looking deep. Now he's flushed out of the pocket. He's gonna run with it and gets out at about the 45. Josh Becker again uh, forcing him out. Oh wow, they're gonna move it back to the uh, 43 yard line. That's only a pickup of two yards. That's a good thing. Third down and five. Whistle on the field. We're not sure what that's about. They want the clock stopped. Putting 4.55 back on the clock. Looks like a new control panel. They got it figured out now. And we're ready for some football. Third down, about five yards to go. Searing the deep back. Rotherham straight back, he's rushed and he's gonna be sacked. Back on the inside the 40 at about the 38. Alex Feudner making the sack. It's going to be fourth and ten. Loss of five. Kick is away. Schmidt has it at the 30, 26. And he stopped at the 27. Nice tackle made out there by Nick Martzall. The first down for South. South has not been able to generate much offense. One pass attempt by uh, Huffman went incomplete. Wide receiver out to this side is uh, Michael Miller, number 16. Martinez off to the left again. Pitch out to Ristovojevic. He's trying to get the corner, but uh, doesn't get much. Him about two yards. Second down and eight. Huffman trotting into the huddle after he got the play from the sideline. Ristovojevic has good speed, but uh, Notre Dame has been able to contain him so far. Pitch out coming this way, Ristovojevic turns on the gas and gets it out to the 34. Boy, he spotted a little bit of an opening and uh, sped it up a little bit, but again, Notre Dame with good pursuit. Ball up to the 34 yard line, pick up a six. Third down and two. Wildman the up back. Inside handoff, Ristovojevic rips off a nice gain up to the 40 yard line. Good blocking up front, especially by the uh, left guard, Devante Jerks and Silas Brun, the left tackle. First and 10 south, their first down of the night. Ball spotted right on the 40 yard line. Another six yard pickup. Lines are set. Huffman hands it out to Ristovojevic trying to go wide and he got the corner before he's knocked out of bounds at the 45. 
hit hard, but another nice game. Second down and five. Still in the first quarter, 223 remaining. Notre Dame on top, seven to nothing. Martinez now is spread out wide to the right. Tristan Schmidt coming over to this side. Zimmerman is a tight end on the right side and there is some confusion. Now we get a timeout by South. They couldn't figure out the uh, formation. We'll keep it here for right now. Just looking at Ristovojevic's uh, yards gained so far. He's got a pretty good uh, drive going. He's got uh, 19 yards so far and he's had all the action, all four carries so far on this drive. Nothing real long on uh, Notre Dame, like I mentioned before, has uh, been able to control him pretty well. Well, if you know Huffman, he can't wait to start throwing the ball around the yard. I don't know if uh, Chris Hine will let him do that, but uh, South has some good receivers. Mitchell Martinez uh, was one of their top targets last year. Nice to have him back. Zimmerman's a big kid. He goes 6'1", 230. He'd be a great target. All right, we got second down and five. Ball spotted on the 45-yard line. See if they can get the formation set up this time. Michael Miller is wide to the right. Schmidt in the slot. Martinez off to the left. A little backward pass out to Tristan Schmidt, and he spins away from a couple of tacklers and gets into Notre Dame territory at the 49. They get a six yard gain. First and 10, ball spotted at the, we'll call it the 49, it's between yards, yard, my, yardish markers. Wildman the up back, Ristovojevic the deep back. And up off the middle, Ristovojevic ripping through the defense, gets it down to the 31. His longest game of the night. Down to the 31, an 18 yard pickup. Ristovojevic was thrown down hard, but he bounced right back up. Martinez to the right, Miller to the left, Wildman the up back, Ristovojevic the deep back. Zimmerman is the tight end on the left side. Snap inside run again by Ristovojevic, but this time he gets pushed back, fumbles, and then Huffman picks it up, and they let the play continue. Another fumble by uh, Boris. Uh, he loses some yardage there. Give him a loss of three. We'll charge that to Ristovojevic. It's going to be second and 13. They're looking for Martinez deep. He's wide open. He makes the catch. 
Touchdown, Sheboygan South. Make that Michael Miller. Boy, I don't know what the defense did there. They saw Boris go off to the left like there was gonna be a short pass and that cornerback stepped up and left Miller wide open. Oh my. 35 yard touchdown pass. Oh, they need the extra point to tie. Katie is in. Holder is Emmett Dean. Nice snap and set. The kick is just barely over. He uh, did not follow through very well, but he got the kick to go through. And with 19.4 seconds left in the first quarter, we're tied at seven. Katie getting ready to uh, kick off. Notre Dame on the uh, opening game kickoff got a pretty nice return. Searing is one of the backs deep. The other is uh, Jamison Vertigan. Kick is away, Vertigan drops it and picks it up at the 10. He's up to the 20, 25 and gets stocked down at about the 29 yard line. First and 10 Notre Dame, 13 seconds left in the uh, first quarter. Well, Ristovojevic in that last south possession ripped off an 18 yarder and uh, that made Notre Dame pay attention to him and then that opened up the uh, gate for uh, Mike Miller and the long touchdown pass. Hand off to Searing, he cuts it back. He's got a nice gain out to the 40 yard line. First down. And that's going to be the end of the quarter. At the end of one, we're all tied up at 7-7. Seven, seven. switchboard can help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Uh, back at South High School, we are not done with the uh, first quarter. Now they wind the clock. And now we are done with the first quarter. Scott Mailoff, our director tonight, 
Gary Kautzer down on the field camera, Richard Bartson on top, and uh, Scott, send us out for another break. My diabetes tests me every day. It tests my parents, my friends, my gymnastics practice. But JDRF has my back. They are working hard to find a cure for type 1 diabetes, which for me would mean freedom. And they help me now with better treatments and new devices that make my life easier. The folks at JDRF test themselves every day. So someday, I won't have to. JDRF, improving lives, curing type 1 diabetes. Every day, thousands of people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest. Would you know how to help? Or would they be all alone? Learn what to do at heartrescuenow.com. Okay, first down and 10, ball spotted on the 40. A uh, nice run by Searing to open up this possession. And this time he gets stacked at the line of scrimmage and falls forward for about three yards. Make it two. Chris Wright is in the house. Thinks he wants to get a part of this uh, operation. What do you think, should we let him in? Ball is spotted at the 42-yard line. It's second down and eight. Searing the deep back. Rotherham still at quarterback. Drops short drop. He fires over the middle. He's got a receiver. He drew, evades two tacklers, and he's going to go to the house for a touchdown, making the score. Nick Martzall, number 18, making the catch. Poor tackling that time. A 58-yard touchdown strike. Second one of the game for uh, Notre Dame. That one hurts. Pellini in the kick. That extra point is up and good. The holder was Rotherham. And with 11.08 uh, left in the second quarter, Notre Dame back on top. In an instant, everything we know can be taken away. I'm John Laurel Cat, and as an actor, I've made a career on TV, performing on Broadway stage. But that would not have most. If I was suddenly disabled and couldn't take steps, couldn't I still act? Only the ability matters. Visit the Kessler Foundation on Facebook and tell us your abilities. And go to KesslerFoundation.org, where only the abilities matter. Back at South Island, there you can see Notre Dame on top, 14 to seven. Kristovojevic and Tristan Schmidt back deep. Kickoff is away, taken at about the 13-yard line by Ristovojevic. Ducks to the outside and then scampers forward up over the 35. The first and 10 south. Make it the 35 yard line. I thought he got a little deeper, but apparently not. 
Huffman a little late getting into the huddle. Miller off to the left, Martinez off to the right, Huffman in the shotgun, surrounded by uh, Wildman and Ristoboyevich. Too much, too much time. Now I hear you, Chris. Illegal procedure on South. It's going to cost them five yards. That's their second penalty. You know, not only did they get the penalty, but they also tipped off that they might run the option. And that's no longer going to be a surprise. Offsetting penalties. Okay. Keep it. First down and 10. On the uh, first touchdown, Chris, it was uh, in the north end zone in the corner, and the south defender was just a little bit late tapping the ball away, but the officials did talk about whether it was a catch or not. South was claiming he didn't have it, but uh, as you can see, they counted it. All right, first and 10, same formation. Huffman. Got it to Martinez, and he's spun down at about the 40-yard line. Make it just short of the 40. See their replay there, and Mitchell Martinez. Good speed by Mitchell. And pick up a four. Be second and six. See one of the Red Wings getting tended to on the sidelines. That's Martinez. Pitch out to Ristovoyevich. He can't quite get through Notre Dame with pretty good pursuit. He does pick up positive yardage, however. Seems like Boris has been around forever, Marty. Just a junior. Yeah, he was a. Uh, he got his playing time last year. He's a little smarter player this year. It's going to be third down and three. Give him a gain of three on the last play. Hand off inside. Flag goes down right away. We'll have to see what that's all about. But uh, Ristovoyevich got nothing on that run. Matter of fact, he probably lost a yard. Illegal procedure on South. You got to think Notre Dame will decline and take the fourth down. Well, these kids aren't in school yet, Marty, so they're maybe not as smart as they will be in October. Not your announcers are smart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that young man made a great decision. Huffman punting, got it away, high. Searing calling for the four, fair catch. He drops it, but he falls on it at the 31. Well, you're going to have some mistakes early in the year, Marty. There's one. We've had a lot of penalties since I've been here already. South had a call one time out in the first quarter. They couldn't get together on the uh, formation. 
But uh, other than that, they've looked pretty solid, except for the pass defense. Well, defense was a problem a year ago for them. And well, so far this game, the defense has actually done pretty good. They've held, uh, held on the running game. The passing game has been another story. Hand off to Searing, big hole up the middle, but uh, helping to fill was Wildman, along with uh, big number 77, I believe that was, Steve Rodriguez. Pick up a four yards, however. Andrew Schick, the wide receiver right in front of us. And off to the fullback, and he's buried by Rodriguez again. Back to back plays for Rodriguez, 200 pound senior. Joe Curtin on the carry. Third down and six. Two wide receivers off here to the right. Nick Martzel, the uh, receiver of that long touchdown pass, one of them, his teammate is Joe Krawcheck, who caught the other touchdown pass. Time out by South, 7.36 remaining until halftime. We'll take a short break and be right back. I'm Sandra Fry. I'm a union bus driver, and I'm also a mom. During 17 years with Greyhound, I've covered over two million miles. My job is to safely bring families together. I love the open road, but I never forget that a drowsy or careless driver can be right around the next curve. Drunk driving is the deadliest of all. As a mom and as a bus driver, I have a message for you. If you drink, don't drive. just showing Chris how to turn off his microphone. That could be real important. <laughs> They're very nice, Marty. A lot of nice stuff. New headsets you. put in for those at the end of last season when our stuff wouldn't work up in De Pere for that uh, sectional basketball game. It's like how many times you got to fix something before you get rid of it? That doesn't count for us. tennis rackets, however. What about us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm we, good we for mean. a couple more surgeries. <laughs> Rotherham ducks under center. Drops straight back. Flushed out of the pocket. He's got room to run. He's got the first down before he's tackled at uh, about the 43-yard line. Well, Charlie's a good athlete. I know he plays third base for their team for baseball that ended up in the state finals last year. And I had an older brother, too, that was an outstanding uh, player. Pick up of eight on that run. First and 10, Notre Dame. Ball spotted on the 43. 7-10 and counting. Notre Dame on top, 14-7. To Rotherham in the shotgun. Haven't seen that yet. Pretty good pursuit by South, but he slips by a couple tacklers. Still on his feet. Up into the 40 and uh, spins down at about the 38. Boy, they look like they had it stopped, but uh, watch Rotherham slip tackles. Yeah, David Yang was right there and missed. Nineteen yard pickup. 
Well, we have to see what that's all about. Take away the long run. They're going to mark it right from the line of scrimmage. Back five yards, illegal procedure. What a break for the Southsiders. There you see the clock, the time. Quarter number two. Hand off to Searing, he's dropped at the 40. Give him a gain of two. Andrew Wildman on the tackle. They call his name a lot this year, we hope. All conference reformer a year ago. Wildman having a nice game so far, Chris. He's uh, thrown a couple of nice blocks on offense and made some nice tackles on defense. Fake the draw, over the middle, incomplete. Pass intended for uh, Nick Martzel. Here's who Charlie Rotherham throwing very well there. Little pepper on that ball. Yeah, he got some mustard on it. Third down and about 13. Coming into the huddle late is Joe Krawcheck. <laughs> Martzel uh, leaves the huddle and then we get a timeout by Notre Dame. They ran into the same problem South did earlier, couldn't get the formation squared away. Good crowd. Five. Good crowd yeah, for yeah. Uh, nice crowd. Uh, 5.55 remaining until halftime. Our uh, next broadcast will be two weeks from tonight. We will not be broadcasting uh, Labor Day weekend. But on September 6th, Preble comes to uh, South, and uh, we'll be doing that game. Uh, we've got a nice uh, schedule for you this year. We we'll also have Random Lake at Lutheran Kohler. That'll happen on September 20th. Uh, September 13th, De Pere comes to town to face North. We also see Preble again, Chris. Uh, they come, come to play uh, North later in the season. That's actually a Saturday game, the 28th. September 28th. Put that on your calendar. All righty, here we go. Third and 13. A lot of wide receivers off to the left. Little swing over to uh, Searing. Gets around White Wildman, but can't get far enough for the first down. Forced out of bounds, just short of the 50. Well, I thought it was important for uh, South D to get the, off the field and give the offense another shot here going into halftime, maybe with a chance to tie it up. Should get pretty good field position. Ristovojevic, uh, Schmidt, and it was a shank job and it takes a bunch Nice bounce for South. Ball will be spotted on the 36 yard line. Hey, that's good field position. That is good field position. Yeah, once again, we can have a lot to complain about our schedule. Uh, first of all, North is playing at home tonight as well. You think you could get North and South opposite. The uh, South, it is, plays three straight road games and then three straight home games to finish the season. You would think you would alternate, but oh well. 
A lot of wide receivers off to the right for South. Huffman keeps it, gets good yardage. He's got the first down. That about the 48 yard line. I always like it no matter what level, the pros, college, high school, you spread people out, creates more running lanes. Even the Packers drive me loony when they go double and triple tight and they try to uh, run. Well, I don't know how much in. you want uh, Aaron Rodgers running the ball. Uh, no, I mean uh, for the running backs, you know. All right, Ristovojevic now is the deep back. Huffman's going to duck under center. Back to that pro Hand off eye. inside, gets it up over the 50. Clock rolling near the five minute mark. That's more of their standard set there. Ball at the 49, it's gonna be second down and seven. Miller wide left, Martinez back in the ball game, wide right. Pitch out to Ristovojevic, good pursuit by uh, Notre Dame, and uh, Ristovojevic loses the yard. Never had a chance on that stretch, Marty. Not at all. Maybe you can set that up later for some type of reverse or something. Well, Notre Dame's pretty quick. What you'd like to do is get him quick going one way and slow going the other. Oh boy. Here we go. Timeout again. south. That's their uh, last timeout. Well, if you're going to use it, you know, this would be a good time. 438 remaining until halftime. We'll be right back. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic, and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're riding. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Back at South High School, 438 remaining until halftime. Notre Dame, as you can see, leads it 14 to seven on the strength of a couple of uh, touchdown passes from uh, Charlie Rotherham. Rotherham hit on a 23 yarder to uh, Joel Krawcheck, and then he hit on a 58 yarder to uh, Nick Martzel. Right now it's third and eight for South. Like to keep the drive alive if they can. Miller's in a wide receiver spot on the left. Martinez is wide right. And I can't catch the number of the kid that's in the slot. That was Ristovojevic, pass is complete. Martinez going to the house. No, he's knocked down at the 15. Trying to knock the ball down was the cornerback, but he missed it. And that opened up the passing lane. That's right, Marty. A good gamble there by uh, the corner, but unfortunately it fell apart for him and a big gainer for South. Ball spotted on the 16 yard line, make it a 34 yard gain. Martinez and Miller, the wide outs, right and left. Ristovojevic in the backfield this time. Handoff, he gets some positive yardage, gets it down to about the 14 or 13 yard line. Not a great deal, but enough to keep the defense honest. Well, that was a little bit better too, Marty. Went right to, to the... Uh instead of going outside right between the guard and tackle there 
three yard pickup. Huffman on the fake, but uh, they weren't buying it, especially Derek Campbell. Boy, Huffman was hit for a big loss. Yeah, I thought it was a good call, but uh, Campbell had it, had it sniffed out. Ball is all the way back to the 27. Loss of 14. Well, you got two chances yet. Unless you get a little closer with a chance for a field goal. Huffman looking, looking. Now he scrambles up the middle. He's got some room to roam, and he's down at about the 15-yard line. Pick some of that up. Yeah, now it's, you know, you don't need a touchdown. You just got to get to about the six and a half. That was a 12-yard pickup. Got to hurry, though, boys. Got to hurry. 2.43 left and counting. We don't have any timeouts, boys. What are we doing? And they did have one timeout. Wow. They didn't have what on the board. But and you uh, said they called one earlier on an offense. They called one on defense. And that one, they just called one about two minutes ago. Right, and I had them for one in the first quarter, actually. That's what I mean. Well, we'll take it. Chris Hine knew what he was doing. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I say. Hmm. Kids are jumping around in the bleachers and shaking the whole breast box. South coming back on the field. They are not going to be kicking an extra point or a field goal, I mean. Wildman is the uh, lone setback. Ristovojevic in the slot on the right side. Miller and Martinez are the wideouts. Zimmerman, the tight end on the left. Looking deep for Ristovojevic, and the pass is knocked away, but there is a flag. Let's see what that's all about. I don't agree with if there's a flag. It looks like here you see the replay. Oh, yeah, there was some contact. I thought he tipped it, and that was hit. That's not the case. They're going to call pass interference here, I would think. Contact in the end zone, pass interference on Notre Dame. And a big break for the Red Wings with 2.15 left until halftime. Ball is on the 15-yard uh, line. It's going to be half the distance to the goal, which would uh, make it seven and a half. I'm not going to argue with you, Marty. First and goal, we'll call it the eight-yard line. Actually, let's make it the seven-yard line. All right, South has no timeouts left. It's 2.15 remaining until halftime. And uh, the head official has not signaled the ball in play yet. They are coming out to measure, 
because oh, it's not an automatic first down. I mean, that doesn't seem right. That would make it advantageous to commit pass interference. Jeez Louise, come on. What kind of rule is that? Fourth down. I don't like this. They got to do something about that. Come on. <laughs> I mean, Anytime you're inside, yeah, let's, you might let's well do just pass interference. They're not going to get a first, first down, down anyways. anyways. Jeez. Ristovojevic, the deep back. They're stack in the middle. Huffman. And a flag goes up. What's that going to be about? Offside Notre Dame. I'm hoping. Looked like Huffman had enough for the first down. You know, the game was moving along real nice. I thought the officials were doing a pretty nice job, and all of a sudden we got this. Of course, it, the rule isn't their fault. That shot being cur his courtesy of uh, Kerry Kautzer. Richard Bartson up on top. Scott Mailoff, uh, our director tonight. Illegal procedure on South. Oi, oi, oi. That's going to be... It's going to be fourth down again only now. It's going to be about fourth and six. Lots of penalties in yep, the second right at quarter. waiting to see if they want the uh, penalty or take the play. They apparently took the penalty. Ball is spotted on the 13. It's 2.01 remaining and it's running now. We're under two minutes. Huffman looking. Lots Open. Deep to Martinez. He goes up. And he's got the catch. What a play by Mitchell Martinez. Just like playing right field. Well, I gotta be honest with you, I thought there was pass interference there too. Well, he went up over the defender to make the grab. Here you're gonna see it. Watch Mitchell go up over the defense and come down with it. Good play. 13 yard pass completion. Oh, miss extra, extra point. point. No good. Ah, oh, we. With 145 left until halftime, Notre Dame on top, 14 to 13. Dad, wait to see the bike we got for Jake. Hearing loss happens gradually with age, making it easy to ignore. Yet most older Americans aren't getting their hearing tested. Untreated hearing loss can keep your loved ones from enjoying what they cherish most. Dad, can you hear me? Don't let that happen. Speak up about hearing loss. You'll be glad you did. Back at South High School, uh, South just scored on a 13-yard Huffman to Martinez pass, but the extra point was not good. And uh, getting ready to kick off for the South Siders is uh, Kyle Cady. Jameson Vertigan and uh, Isaac Searing are back deep for the Tritons.
Kick is away. It's a nice one. It's going to get into the end zone. How often do you see that, Chris? Well, I would have liked to see him kick that extra point. <laughs> that one he missed, and uh, there you see he's got good leg. From north, it's 14-7, Pulaski. Weston Nelson with a touchdown. Well, Notre Dame has two timeouts, but maybe they have three. <laughs> Good one, Chris. I know they did call one. Rotherham straight back, looking deep. He's got a receiver out there. He can't come down with the ball. Pass incomplete. I'll tell you, with a minute 45, those safeties and corners has, should have nobody get behind them, and that was way too close for Sheboygan South. That is not good defense with two minutes left. They got a break there. You know Rutherham has the arm to throw one out there. Rutherham ducks under center. Only one wide, two wide receivers off to the right. Searing right up the middle. Got to get that guy. Schmidt makes the tackle, but not before he gets out to about the 38-yard line. Nice gain there. That's a good call by Notre Dame. They get a big gainer, they can maybe push and go. If it wasn't a big gainer, maybe they'll run some clock and take their one-point lead going in the half. Now you'll watch them kind of press probably a little bit now that they're at the, about the First 40. and 10 ball on the 37. Rotherham fakes the draw. Oh, he's Looking wide deep. Open. He's got a wide receiver wide out there making the catch and scoring the touchdown is Nick Martzel, his second of the ball game. And what happened there? Same thing. Two, two of the defenders went on a little hook and the number 18 there, Martzel just went right by him. That just can't happen. Watch here. There's the 63-yard bomb. I caught that a little late, but man, there was some breakdown there in the defense. Well, Martzel's got a 58-yarder and now a 63-yarder. The extra point is good, and it's 21 to 13. Back at South High School. Kristovojevic uh, is back deep and Tristan Schmidt is the other uh, receiver back deep. Vincent Pellini, number four, is going to do the kickoff chores. He's also been... Uh, Right on on his extra points, Chris. Nailed three out of three. Pelini's kick carries down to Ristovojevic on the 14. Avoids one tackler. Skirts to the outside and gets it up over the 40 yard line. Be first and ten south with 101 remaining. Well, on one hand, you got good field position, so you can give it a shot. You know, Katie's got a good leg. Uh, negative part is you have no timeouts, but you know, remember the clock stops on first down. So, see if yes. Coach Hine decides to give it a shot down the field a little bit. All right, 
We'll call it the 44-yard line. A real nice return by uh, Boris Ristovoyevich. Martinez is wide to the left along with uh, Michael Miller. And also in the slot, it looks like uh, Ristovoyevich. Huffman, rushed hard, good chip block by Wildman. Martinez comes down with it. And they're going to call him down at the 20 yard line. Notre Dame's not any wiser there. They get Mitchell to get behind him. That just can't, shouldn't happen. 36 yard pickup. Martinez having quite a quarter, Chris. He's got four receptions for uh, 70, 87 Oof. yards. I don't know if he had it when he landed, Marty. That's what Notre Dame was arguing about. Well, they were both scrapping over the ball, that's for sure. And I gotta be honest with you, I saw the Notre Dame guy with the ball on a replay. Hey, we Maybe we shouldn't show the replay. officials from Seattle last year. <laughs> Although I thought that was definitely a touchdown for Seattle. Huffman on the quarterback draw and he gets dropped right at the 20. No gain there. Looked like a called play too. We're down to 45, 40. Wide receivers left and right. Huffman down to 30. Well, they got time if they want to, they could spike it and then try for a field goal. And that's what they do. Oh, come on. They're gonna call downing or illegal procedure, but it'll be on south. And I'm sure he didn't spike the ball correctly. Ay, ay, ay. It's going to be third down. Four wide receivers, two left, two right. Huffman all alone back there. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, he's sacked and knocked down at about the 28. Making the initial hit was uh, Sam Halama. And that's going to be the uh, end of the half. We're at halftime with Notre Dame on top, 21 to 13. He serves his party best who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. Calvin Coolidge. Government is a people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There is nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed with what is right in America. William Clinton. Be who we now. They fought for social change. They fought against tyrants. They fought for human rights. Yet behind these achievements are individuals who waged a more personal war. They fought the struggle against mental illness. And they won. Back at uh, South High School, we've got some uh, halftime stats for you. Uh, let's go through Notre Dame first. On the rushing end, Notre Dame has rushed the ball 13 times for 50 yards. On the passing side, they've, uh, they are three for five for 144 yards. They had a 23-yard touchdown pass, 
a 58-yard touchdown pass and a 63-yard touchdown pass. That totals out to 194 total yards uh, for, for the half. I thought South's run defense was pretty good. It's a good thing Notre Dame didn't pass any more than they did. For uh, South, they uh, ran the ball 20 times for uh, 46 yards. Uh, Robert Huffman was 6 for 8 passing for 128 yards. His uh, big receiver in that first half was uh, Mitchell Martinez with 4 catches for uh, 87 yards. Uh, Ristovojevic had 14 carries for uh, 43 yards. South pretty much went away from the running game in the uh, second quarter. Uh, we're uh, getting ready to wrap up halftime. There's about a minute and 40 seconds left in this uh, warm-up period, and then uh, we'll get ready with the second half, half kickoff. Our next ball game will be September 6th when uh, Green Bay Preble comes to South. Uh, we'll have that game starting at 6.45 we go live. And then the replay times are as exactly the same as they've been in the past. Saturday at 10 a.m., Tuesday at 7 p.m., and then Wednesday at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, we're uh, pretty excited about this going live business, and uh, we're real happy and uh, thankful that uh, Adam Thompson ran the nice article in this uh, morning's Sheboygan Press regarding that. Uh, really appreciate that, Adam. And uh, we're just hoping that uh, Sheboygan South can come back and uh, win a ball game. Right now over at uh, North High, Pulaski leads the Raiders 21 to 15. North right in the thick of that one. Hopefully they can pull it out and we can get a couple victories from uh, the city of Sheboygan in this opening week of the 2013 high school football season. Well, I think this is a big week for South, Marty. They got to get pick up a win and these first you know, three or four games looking at their schedule. Obviously, the one goal they have is to make the playoffs. They play Green Bay West next week, and then they play Preble here, and then they got East. And so you're hoping maybe in the first four weeks you go three and one. That would be pretty good, or maybe two and two. And, uh, you know, then maybe things get a little tougher when you play defending conference champs Green Bay Southwest and at De Pere. Mantwalk's always a pretty good club, as is as Schwabadon. And, of course, the last one is Sheboygan North. But I think this is a big game, and these first four games for the Red Wings are, are big, Marty. Well, they've shown they can uh, play toe-to-toe -to -toe in terms of uh, the run defense, but uh, the pass defense has been uh, almost non-existent. Uh, they're going to have to clear that up. Well, and, they got to uh, stop the big play, Marty. Yeah, and, uh, that... Well, it's come on three long pass plays if they can uh, take care of that. Hopefully they can come back and win. Yeah, maybe that's the things to focus on, but uh, secondary and a couple of missed tackles on one, one of those plays, but uh, be important here for South to get the ball and maybe put some points on the board and a little bit of a shootout here in the second half. Ristovojevic back deep along with uh, Schmidt. Takes the ball on the nine yard line. And uh, returning it out to about the uh, 26 or 27 yard line was uh, Kyle Cady. Kyle Cady, I guess, was a soccer player and now he's the kicker. You saw his foot, man, he can kick. Missed that one extra point, but uh, it's a long season. Actually, you know what was sort of impressive was he never really followed through on that first extra point, yet he was able to get it over the crossbar. All right, three wide outs to the uh, left. Martinez, the widest of the group. Little dump over the middle to uh, Boris Ristovojevic. I like that play. Once again, you got them all spread out and single coverage out there. Just run a nice little eight-yard 
curl pattern or eight yard pickup. Robert Hoffman, an outstanding athlete. Ristovojevic's first, first reception, Chris. Wildman, the lone setback with uh, Huffman. Handoff, Wildman through the middle. He's got a first down. He's up over the 45 and the 50 and into Notre Dame oh territory. My. And he breaks through before he's dropped at the 31 yard line. How about that? Oh, and there's a flag late. I think uh, South might get called for a clip, I but I think not. it was incidental. What are we gonna call here? Come on, you guys, stick your flags in your pockets. Better not be celebrating. For what? For where? 40 yard pickup for Wildman as it stands right now. Here you go. See what on. the call is. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike, Notre Dame. Oh boy. Thank you. <laughs> now it's okay. Now, maybe we can get a replay of we that just and see what happened. I think uh, 54 Sam Helena, is he out there? I thought he did a little extra shove. Ball what? is spotted on the 15 yard line. That was a big 15 yard penalty on Notre Dame. Let's focus in on that big uh, run by Wildman because that was very impressive. He kept the legs churning, that's for sure. Here it is. I called this. Here we go. Ristovojevic has got a wide open lane. Make that number 23, Emmett Dean. Hey, I told you, Marty. You're gonna sell that for you know, a reverse lane? Chris later. just about pushed me over <laughs> saying, I call that play in the first half. Yeah, I could just see they can sell that for later when they run that stretch play and the way Notre Dame over pursued. Great call by the South High staff. You know, speed is really an, a great ass, asset when you're playing football, but you gotta be under control. <laughs> And uh, on defense, there you see number 31 <laughs> get sucked in. Yep. Uh, Stuart Kwaterski. All right, South going for two. I don't know if I like this, but uh, hopefully they can do it. Yep, I'm not sold on it either. And now, delay. Gee. Delay on South is gonna push it back and now you're definitely gonna go for two. I don't know if uh, Katie can kick it through from that deep. He's got a big leg. Well, it'd be over 30 yards. Now I take that, yeah, 20, make it back to the fifth, 25 yarder. Mm -hmm. Emmett Dean in. South hustling to the line. Silas Brunn, big left tackle. Zimmerman just outside of him. Boris on the curl? No. Dean slips a tackle, dives in, touchdown. Nice Huffman play. has been on the money tonight, Chris. Well, you gotta like that start. All started with Wildman. And then the uh, first half call of a play by uh, Coach Wright gets him the touchdown. <laughs> I like that uh, reverse there. You just took a tell by Notre Dame in their over pursuit. My dirty pants know that you liked it too. <laughs> Knocked me down. All right, back to even, just basically starting the second half. Chris, I think this is a real important defensive possession for South. They gotta show that they can stop 
the Tritons. <laughs> That's right, Sim. Give them what for. Katie's kick is deep. He had one in the end zone in the first half, and he did it here again in the second. Be first and 10, Notre Dame at the 20. How often do you see that? And look at the wind. Look at the flags. Yeah, they're just limp. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of like me after tennis each morning. But uh, that's two in one game. I mean, you don't usually see that all year. Rotherham still at quarterback. Good. In the backfield, looks like uh, Jamison Vertigan. He takes the handoff, scoots through, gets positive yardage, and uh, he's close to the first down before he's finally whistled down. Wow. They're going to give him a first. He's right at the 30. Give him nine yards on the play. It's going to be second and one. Whoop! I said he had a first down. I yeah, no, they stopped him just short. And well, now they're going to come and measure. Well, I saw the line judge have his foot basically on the 30. And just short. short. I apologize. Apologies, a sign of weakness. Well, I was wrong. Won't be the first, last time this season. All right, look out for the deep ball. Krawcheck wide to the right. Right up the middle and skipping to the outside and getting the first ba first down was Isaac Searing, number 25. Good ball tackle out the there 37. by Sorry, Marty. I was going to say a good tackle by Selk, one on one. Sam Selk, we see him a uh, little basketball. Here he comes, number 10. Zach DeVroy is uh, wide to the right. Fake to the first back. Uh-oh. Pitch out to Searing. He's through the line. He's out in the open, down to the 30. The 20 cuts it back. Dean can't catch him. It's going to be a touchdown, 63 yards for Notre Dame. There's the big play again. They were able to prevent that long run in the first half. Now Notre Dame has broke one. They had a 63 yard pass in the first half. Sal got sealed run. and there was the lane or the alley and Syrian ran right through it, Marty. Polini in to kick the extra point. And it's good. That was quick. You're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer. That's why the Surgeon General issued this warning. Now you're looking at the number one cause of lung cancer for non-smokers. That's, That's why, why the Surgeon, Surgeon General, General issued this warning. Radon is an invisible radioactive gas that seeps inside your home from underground. Whether you smoke or not, radon can cause lung cancer. Protect your family. Have your home tested. Call 1-800-SOS-RADON. Radon problems can be fixed. Back at South High School where uh, the Tritons of Notre Dame lead it 28-21. We've had a couple of quick scores here in the third quarter. You think so? 
947, 946 remaining. So uh, within five minutes and uh, no, there are only three minutes. Yeah, not even. <laughs> 214, we got two scores. I'm thinking pro quarters are 15 minutes yep. long. Hey, Rista Vojevich and uh, Katie switch spots back there. Goes to Katie, takes it at the 12. He's out over the 30, breaking it to the outside, the 40. He's got some room, 50, trying to cut back, 40, and he's dropped inside the 40-yard line. Katie with a great run. First year of football. I'll tell you, the special teams for South has been real good today, and they've always had very good field position. The Red Wings that it is, and again, they're inside Notre Dame territory at about the 38. Here you see the replay. Good block there by Alvarez. And Katie does the rest. Woo! A nice block there as well. 49 yard return, Chris. Martinez wide to the left. Ristovojevic, the deep back. Hand off to Boris. Pounds through and uh, spins down near the 34-yard line. Like that. Six, seven yards on first down makes the calls a lot. Ooh, that was a bad spot. Makes the calls a lot easier. Huffman in the shotgun, Wildman behind him. Oops. Whoops. Somebody went the wrong way. Huffman trying to get something out of nothing and uh, gets it down to about the 33 again. Probably a no gain. You don't like those kind of mistakes right after you have a nice run. Third down and four. Little dump off to Ristovojevic and he didn't catch it and it's picked off by Notre Dame and uh, returning it out to about the 38 yard line was Nick Martzel. And I think he would add the first down there, Marty. He kind of turned his head to look up a field just at the last second. It's too bad. That was. Here you see the replay, Marty. Right there. Oh, he's right in there, and he just yeah. turned his head. He had it. Oh. And fumbled Tough it break. Away. Second back is Searing, bouncing it to the outside, skips past one tackler and gets it out to the 50. Nice run by that young man. Well, they're starting to eat up some yards on the ground, Marty. Yeah, got it up to the 50. That's a 12-yard pickup. South, I thought, did a pretty good job containing the running game in the first half, but uh, certainly not the case so far here. Yeah, Searing's getting his sea legs. Bounces it to the there outside he again. again. He's a loose, he's down to the, the 20. Can he get caught and stop? No, into the end zone. Good effort made by Sam Selk, but uh, Searing a little too tough. Goes 50 yards. see it pretty good blocking right up front and then he does the rest yeah. 
Pelini's kick is good. And uh, that makes it 35 to 21. South High where the uh, Red Wings have not been able to uh, prevent the big play. Notre Dame has just been uh, running up and down the field either with uh, long pass plays or long run plays which have been the case here in the second half. Isaac Searing has a 63 yard touchdown run and a 50 yard touchdown run here in the third quarter. He didn't do much in the first half uh, with the running game, but uh, he's got it going here in the second half. He had nine carries for 45 yards. Ristovojevic has it at about the 10, and uh, he's dropped at about the 23-yard uh, line. First time that they kind of contained the uh, Red Wings special teams. Kind of like last year, Marty, it was 41-27 Notre Dame. We're in a high shooting affair again. Well, it's only going to be high shooting if South can score a couple more touchdowns. Well, you see they can move the ball. It, it just had unfortunate turnover there. Yeah, that, was, uh, that one hurt. A lot of time left, a lot of time. Wildman and Ristovojevic in the backfield, wide receivers left and right. Stretch play for Ristovojevic. He cuts oh, it off tackle mask. and uh, gets hit at about the 25 yard line. Pickup of only two. Give him three yards on the play. Laughlin still at center. Huffman looking, looking, going deep. Martinez is out there, but the pass is intercepted. Making the catch for the Tritons was uh, Zach DeVroy. Looked like there was a couple defenders over there. And they did not bite on the pump fake. Notre Dame's going to have it first and 10 at the 45. Uh, great field position for them. Well, Chris, things are not going well all of a sudden. Yeah. There you see it. Uh, Three white great shirts. Play. Rotherham back. He's got a man open. Nice catch over the uh -oh. middle. He's going for the sideline. Tristan Schmidt makes the stop, but Joel Krawcheck with a nice catch and run. With Tristan seven Tim. minutes left in the third, touchdown Peter Green. North 22, Pulaski 21. 38 yard play. Hand off to Jamison. Too many of those missed tackles, Marty. And uh, Jamison Vertigan, and he gets it, uh, gets positive yardage. Not much, but uh, Chris is right. If you make Make that tackle on the first hit, he gets no yards. Got to 
Got to tighten up a little bit on your tackling. Ball just inside the 15 yard line. Vertigan uh, all alone in the backfield now. Rotherham on a quick out to Searing. He gets hit and dropped. Nice tackle made out there by uh, Josh Becker, defensive end. They got a pretty formidable duel out there in Searing and uh, Vertigan, Chris. They pick up a six on that pass play. Third and one. Searing up the middle, he's got the first down. Spins to the end zone. Did he get there? They're saying no, he's just short. But a good run. First and goal, Notre Dame. Searing the deep back. The up back is uh, Ben Kissel. Searing dives in, touchdown. Oh boy. Yep, not looking good now. Well, they scored three touchdowns in the last, what, five minutes? It's, uh, they've been quick this quarter for sure. Right now it's 41 to 21. Pellini back on for the extra point and uh, he drills it right through. With uh, 4.33 left in the third, Notre Dame has now doubled up on South, 42 to 21. Back at South High School, Notre Dame Triton's getting ready to uh, kick off. It's been all Notre Dame here in the third quarter. They've got 21 points. South only with eight. Pelini's kick carries down to the 10. Ristoboyevich has it. Trying to cut it back, but uh, Notre Dame uh, with good coverage. He gets it out to about the 26. Seventeen yard return makes it first and ten. Miller, the wide out to the left. Ristovojevic and Wildman, the backs. Second back through. Ristovojevic pounds it out near the 30. Wow, wasn't too long ago, it was 21 apiece, Marty. You're right, it was a uh, quick scoring by uh, the Tritons. It's really gotten quiet over here on the south side. 
Yeah, the fans are not uh, pumped up like they were earlier. Ristovojevic, a good stick there, making the tackle for Notre Dame. Was Searing again. Well, and there's still 3.30 left in the third. But uh, you're getting to the point now where every time you get the ball, you're going to have to score. Third down and four. Huffman in the shotgun. Fake handoff, little dump off pass to Wildman. Looking to get the first down, but great pursuit by Notre Dame. He never goes able to get it. Yep. Pick up a two yards on the pass completion. But it's fourth and two. And with the ball at the 33, with so much time left, you will have to punt here. Good decision. There you see the scoreboard and the situation. Good snap, Huffman's kick is away. And uh, the Notre Dame player allows it to uh, bounce and it goes out of bounds inside the 35. South will be at West next week. Sheboygan North travels to Green Bay Southwest, so there'll be no local team in the city of Sheboygan at home. We are, we are not broadcasting next week because of Labor Day weekend. Memorial well, Day weekend. There's no team home anyways. <laughs> yeah. Labor Day. Well I say that uh Vertigan in the backfield. Kissel the up back. Second back. Vertigan right through oh the my. middle and he's off to the races. Tristan Schmidt can't make the tackle. And one play and Notre Dame is in. 63 yards. Wow. Yeah, all three of our teams, north, south, Christian Lutheran and Kohler are all on the road next week. <laughs> I don't know how that happens. At Central Lakeshore, they don't know how to schedule either. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're not doing the game. It's not just Labor Day Friday. More time to eat cream puffs, I guess. Pelini drills that one through two. 49 to 21. Ay, ay, ay. Jeez. Seven, 14, 21. Boy, you get to 21 21 you got the momentum starting over and wow just like that after that uh, score by south to tie it up it only took Notre Dame three plays to score and the, the, the plays went nine yards eight yards 63 yards I mean they didn't even do a good job on the first two plays of that uh, drive after well, the How many time. plays does Notre Dame have here in the half? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four touchdowns in eleven plays. That's pretty good production. 
Mistoboyevich dropped the kickoff and gets dropped immediately. He gets it out to about the 17 or 18. I know it's really hard. There's a great shot. There's yep. your moon shot. I saw that moon just a couple of minutes ago. I was going to mention something, but Notre great Dame shot. was running down the field. That's uh, Richard Bartson giving you that shot. He's shooting the moon. And he loves the weather. Oh, he's got to like it up there. Ball is spotted on the 19-yard line. Wildman, the uh, lone setback with Huffman in the shotgun. Huffman running the draw, gets some positive yardage, slips off a couple of tacklers before he's brought down. Close to the first down. Making the stop for Notre Dame was Stuart Kotursky. Give Huffman a nine yard pickup. Option pitch to Wildman, trying to juke the defender. He gets it out to about the 28-yard line. I think he'll have enough for the first down. He's a nice player, Andrew. Like those feet, live feet there. Keep them pumping and moving. Forty seconds in the third, which has been a long quarter for the team in red. Play is slow, coming in. 22 seconds left in the quarter. Pitch out to Ristovojevic. He gets it out over the 30. Ristovojevic is a big kid, Chris. He goes uh, six feet, 190. And uh, that's the end of the third quarter. Ristovojevic got it just over the 30, picks up about three, but that's the end of the quarter. It's, it's not, not over. over. Japan, Japan still needs our help. This is not yesterday's news. It's happening now. This is Japan now. Let's help. are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going. Some aren't as obvious, but it could be just as deadly, like the risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes risk test. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk you can't afford to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you. Back at South High School, there we are up in the press box, Chris. It's been a long third quarter for the Red Wings. Uh, Notre Dame just ran up and down the field. They had over, I got them for 206 yards, 216 yards. And they had uh, 194 in the first half, correct? 194 yards, yeah. And they they got collected another 44 yards passing, too. So they're over 400 yards of offense, yeah. and they got a quarter left. Big plays for Notre Dame. Big, big plays. We're not talking 25 not, yards either. We're talking 50s and 60s. They've hit on a 63-yard play three different times, two runs and a pass. 63. If I was playing bingo, I think <laughs> I'd take number 63. <laughs> Third 
third down and about two. Arquino takes 63 today. Wide receivers left and right for South. Huffman on the draw play. Somebody missed a block, but he was able to slip the tackler and get it out over the 40. Wow. There you see it. Whoop! <laughs> Ouch. And a good run by Robert. Yeah. He just soak, soak his neck. Wide to the right is uh, Brady Hansen. Haven't called his name yet. Quick out to Brady, makes a nice catch, and he's driven back from the 47. Boy, that is a one terrible spot. He had the ball all the way to the 47-yard line when he got hit. Oh, man, come on. Jeez. Here you'll see it. You're right. He's at the 47. Gee, not even close. Huffman keeps it on the option. Goes right through the defense and keeps the legs churning. He gets inside the 40-yard line. Nice run by Robert. Down to 9.50. Robert, Boris looks tired. Hanson trotting out here to the right, first and 10 south. Not he this time. wanted to do the, well, maybe he didn't want to, but uh, Notre Dame did a good job of uh, defending the option and Huffman gets taken down. Second down and eight. Wildman, the uh, lone setback with uh, Huffman. Ristovojevic in the slot. And uh, they ran that same play that they did before, but uh, there was a deep safety that was not going to let the pass be completed. Did you see that, Chris? Yep. Well, you're going to have to go for it here. Oh, excuse me, it's third and eight now. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's two guys. Get a score from North here in a minute. Hanson wide right. I wonder if uh, Martinez is hurt. We haven't seen much of him here in the second half. Inside handoff to Wildman slips one tackler and pushes up inside the 30. Nice run by uh, Andrew. He's going to be just short. Give him a seven yard gain, but not quite enough. Official timeout for a measurement. We have uh, 820 left in the ball game. Chris, you got a score from North? I think I do. With one minute left in the third quarter, I believe it's North 29, Pulaski 21. Lucky that game's not on TV, otherwise nobody would be watching us. <laughs> Fourth and a foot.
Spirit squads from uh, south have uh, been very active tonight. Doing a good job down on the track. All right, there, you were right, Chris, early on. There is a really nice crowd here, especially the student body, considering uh, school hasn't started yet. Right. We've been here for some of those games, and there's no crowd. Good blocking up front. Rista Vojevic rips through and is down at the 20-yard line. Good eight-yard run. Boris's first carry the fourth quarter. North, uh, pardon me, South has uh, had the ball the entire quarter. Clock running. We're under eight minutes. Connor got, Harrison Connor now Harrison quarterback. Harrison now at quarterback. Yep. And uh, he keeps it and runs it. Let's see what he got for yardage. Peter Tutinoff uh, helping us up, helping us out, gave us that heads up. That's not a bad idea, get him some experience here. Never know. Second down and five, ball on the 15-yard line. Give Harrison a three-yard run, five-yard run. Dean, go ahead. Dean the uh, wide out to the right. Harrison looking deep, and the pass is incomplete. He's got to get rid of that ball earlier, Marty, so let him run under it. You know, the defender is right there. I was going to say Connor's a uh, multi-sport athlete, basketball and baseball. See, by the time we let that go, the defender's right there. He's got to set his feet and let Dean run under it there. End of three at North. They're up by eight. Third down and five. Harrison in the shotgun again. Ristovojevic in the slot on the right side. Keeper by Harrison. He skips through the defense, and he's dropped at about the six or seven yard line. It's going to be a first down. I would like to uh, also mention we haven't talked about the offensive line tonight much, Marty, because they've done a pretty good job done a real good job. I see a nice run by uh, Connor. That was an eight yard run for that young man. Ball is spotted on the seven yard line, first and goal. Anchored by Cody McLaughlin, he's a stud. Two. Up back is uh, Fernando Alvarez, number 40. Ristovojevic, the deep back, and he takes the handoff, and there's a fumble. Harrison tripped on the turn to the handoff, and uh, South loses the ball. Ay, ay, ay. You want this yet? We'll wait till the offensive line gets back out there if they do. Oh, there you see the pumpkin on the ground. Good replay. Good job, guys. I think Notre Dame has a new quarterback. Nope. I'm not sure. Vertigan looks like the deep back. Yep. yep. New, new quarterback. guy in there is uh, Robert Pettigene. Hand off to Vertigan, who doesn't get much. Second down and 10. Clock running. 5.45 left. 
A lot of what, new white shirts out there for uh, Notre Dame, getting some of their kids in. Yeah, on that last carried was Adam Wozny. And why not? Yeah. Six minutes left. Young. Game is pretty much in the bank for Notre Dame. South getting some new red jerseys in there as well, Marty. Yep, Josh Becker still at defensive end. We mentioned him. Uh, Dylan Kumaro, number 17 in there. Doug Williams in the middle. Uh, pitch out on the uh, option, and uh, Vertigan gets it. Not enough for the first down. It'll be fourth down. And here comes the punting unit. Notre Dame's ready to punt, and there's a lot of red shirts running. Tristan Schmidt and Emmett now. Dean are back. And they had. <laughs> ball goes how can, out of bounds. How can the official not call 12 men on the field? I mean. If it's on Notre Dame, call it. If it's on <laughs> South, just let it go. I don't know. That's my opinion. Well, that was just. It's right in front of you. I guess the game is. Well, they got to get some cheeseburgers too somewhere on the way home. The officials said it is. Huffman back at quarterback. Oh, did you catch who? Uh, Harrison probably still in? Nope. Huffman. Huffman back? Yep. After the fumble. Quick dish to uh, Ristovoyevich, and he dives forward to about the uh, 37. Nice pitch and catch. Give him eight yards on the completion. Timeout. Tritons. Timeout Notre Dame. Four, three fifty-eight left, just under four minutes. No game by WSCS TV next week. Uh, we will be back September 6th when uh, Preble comes to Sheboygan to play South. And you mentioned that South is at West next week? Yep. And North is at Southwest. Southwest. And Kohler Lutheran said, I think at North Fond du Lac. Kohler Lutheran Christian. Plymouth will be at Grafton. That'll so be a you, good game for them. If you're looking for a game, go see a Mayville and the Falls. Falls. Yep. Otherwise, there's not a lot of teams that are around town. You know, Chris, I can't remember a season where the football teams have played nothing but conference games. They always usually have a non-conference game to open the season. Cody McLaughlin, 52, still there at center. Sam Selk, a wide receiver on the right side. Silas Brunn, he's right tackle over there, number 74. Just a sophomore. He's a big kid. Huffman gets it down to the 30. Give him a gain of seven. From north, Pulaski just kicked a field goal. It's now 29-24. North on top. Yep. Big John Sullivan to the 240-pound senior, number six, excuse me, 72. Over the middle, he's got his wide receiver, Selk. And uh, he's knocked down inside the 20. First 
First and 10, ball spotted on the 20-yard uh, line, a 10-yard pickup. Three twenty and counting. <laughs> <laughs> Huffman right up the middle. He's got some room. He's down inside the five. Gets it close. It's going to be a first and goal. Sixteen yard pickup. Dean in number twenty three. Doug Williams as well, thirty three. He's I believe in the tail back he's position. A, yeah, he's a tailback. Second back through. He gets knocked down short of the goal line. No, nope, they're gonna give it to him, Marty. Doug Williams with the touchdown. All right, way to go, Doug. Touchdown run. Gotta like that. First carry of the game goes for a score. South back on the board. Extra point is good. That makes it 49 to 28. South High getting ready to kick off. They uh, just scored on a 40 yard run by uh, Doug Williams. That was Doug's first carry of the ball game. Notre Dame got all their guys up here. And kick is deep. The lone Notre Dame oh, and guy. Oh, Notre Dame guy. Takes a knee at the 15. That was uh, Jamison Vertigan. First and 10 for the Tritons. And a lot of white jerseys out there, meaning they're getting a lot of guys in. Gotta like that. Back in at quarterback is uh, Robert Pettigeen. I like my own program. Yeah, taking that handoff was uh, Adam Wozny. Not much doing. Blake Schmidt, 13, comes in. Tony Fox, a couple of juniors. Second down for the Tritons. Vertigan the deep back. Hand it to the up back, he gets uh -oh. smashed and uh, oh no, Vertigan's got it, what happened there? He's got a big run again, and he's got a first down outside the 40. I thought they handed it off to the fullback. Let's take a look. Yeah, it was a little pitch out. Fake up the middle. Caught your announcer sleeping.
29 yard gain. Rudigan never touched the ball in the first half, Chris. He's had a very nice game. He's got, uh, I believe, over 100 yards rushing now. Wow. Wozni bouncing it to the outside. He's pretty quick. He gets a first down near the uh, South High 45-yard line. First and 10, rolling down to a minute left in the ball game. Another handoff, cutting back against the green was uh, Vincent Pellini, the kicker. Nice little run there by Vincent. Oh, nine yards. Well, I think it's time for the victory knee. Twenty five seconds left. Hand off to Pellini again. He's got the first down inside the thirty, and that should be it. Well, a seven tough, yard tough run, six and that's minutes there be in the it. third. Well, Chris, you missed a good first half. You were no luck in the second. <laughs> Thoughts? Well, I said that just a six minute blitz there by the Tritons in the third and uh, stopped the run in the first half, but they couldn't stop the run in that third quarter and Notre Dame came away with a victory and a lot of, a lot of heads down for South, but you got to rebound and get a win next week up at West. All right, with that, uh, we will not be on the air next week. Uh, we're going to take the uh, Labor Day weekend off. We will be back September 6th when Preble comes to town to play Sheboygan South. Uh, for the crew and my partner, Chris Wright, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.